Can everybody uh, hear me and see me out there? Anybody out there? So I'm live right now because uh, we're waiting for the new episode to premiere and to go live. And I figured um, since YouTube is telling me on their end that um, the video is uploaded as of like 3.30, but uh, it's gonna be processed in 19 minutes. I figured I'd go live and just spend a couple minutes with you guys. Um, I don't know if I'll do this every time because it's better be worth it because I'm neglecting Nicole and Fox right now. Big time to just spend a couple minutes with you. Episode. That's a new one. See who's out there. Hey Jake. Hey Jake from Chandler, Arizona. A lot of people out there. Come on in here. I just uh, advertised the link on the uh, the full episode. So I'm gonna uh, right now here. I think I'm gonna make a chat. Can I make a chat here? Can I say something? Let's see. How does this live work? So I'm doing this live because I have one of the people that uh, I look up to here on YouTube lately. I watched his channel as this guy, The Y Files, and he goes live every time he has a new episode. And I kind of uh, think it's a good idea. But see, he goes live after the episode. And so this is um, weird to go live before. But I wasn't going to do this. But since uh, we're just... Um, we're just waiting for the other episode to go. Uh, we got this thing going on here. So anybody have any questions here? Tell me where you're from, any questions. So one thing I wanted to talk about, if you guys are all in, we got about 500 people watching, is what's uh, been on my mind a lot lately that I can't talk to a lot of folks about because I'm not around a lot of folks anymore. I'm, I'm actually alone quite often, with the exception of Fox and Nicole. And um, I think about in business in nowadays time, how recurring billing is the way to make a good living. And uh, if you guys don't realize that, you know, when I was a kid, there wasn't a lot of places doing recurring billing. I, I know that um, when I was first um, a teenager, we would join the gym and the gym was a monthly recurring billing. But nowadays it seems everything wants to get you for five bucks a month or 10 bucks a month or, you know, 50 bucks a month. And I feel that it's our job as people to try to get away from that. Um, because I really feel that that's very stressful to have multiple people that are like sucker fish sucking onto you as the shark, taking a little bit per month from you. And I think it's real important that you try to break as many of these subscription uh, debts that you have. And so uh, that's part of what Nicole and I talk about quite often as our um, main motivation is for living off grid and off grid life. Uh, there's a lot of wind up right now, so if you guys see the trees moving around, a lot of wind up there. The trees are dancing. You'll probably turn the volume up, probably hear it in the background. So I think about just some basic things, like um, if you're living today and you're in a country, you know, taxes. You know, Nicole and I pay a lot of taxes. I'm sure you guys pay a lot of taxes, and taxes is a recurring billing. Now that's one thing that you can kind of, um, you know, you can try to be smart with an accountant and reinvest your money you know, or just pay the taxes. But outside of taxes, there's a lot of places that we can get your food bill uh, and your monthly mortgage payment, um, your car payment. These are all things that when I was about 30 years old, I started thinking about why am I paying all these things? And so when I turned 30 years old, I was running martial arts, um, uh, martial arts school full time. And I was doing gardening classes uh, on the side full time as well. And I started thinking about, uh, how many people were getting me from monthly items. I was paying $3,000 to $4,000 a month to the Yellow Pages, back when there was Yellow Pages to be number one in the martial arts section. I was paying uh, a gas bill. I was paying a monthly mortgage payment. I was paying taxes. I was paying water bill. Even if I didn't even use a drop of water, I still got hit with a statement fee back in the day. I was paying electricity bill. Even if I wouldn't use electricity and all my switches were off, I get hit with a monthly payment. I was getting a, a car payment because when I turned uh, 18 years old, I went to China for the first time and I got a scholarship to go with uh, Duke University and study second year Chinese in Beijing. And when I did that, I sold the truck I had to pay for incident, uh, incidentals, you know, to pay for anything, anything that the scholarship didn't pay for. I didn't have any money. And so I sold my truck. I had this nice uh, Ford F-150 uh, truck. I sold it to have some extra cash. When I came back from China, I was real broke. So I got into like a five-year car loan. 
And I've heard, I've heard, I don't know if this is true, nowadays they even have like seven, eight year car loans, 10 year car loans, is that right? Is that a thing? So when I turned um, 30 years old, I realized that I was paying a monthly mortgage and I was paying a corporate, mor um, a corporate mortgage. I had a mortgage payment for my commercial building. Car payment, um, <laughs> yellow page ad, Google AdWords, my profit and loss statements, taxes, um, the list goes on and on. And so when I turned 30, I started thinking about, I'm going to give up my car and I'm going to, I'm, re I'm really healthy. I feel real strong. And I feel that if I ride a bicycle around, I'm going to save a lot of money. And I live in a place called Arizona where it doesn't rain that often. And so it seems like a pretty good idea that I could pretty much wake up in the morning time, not have a car, live in one of the largest cities in the world phoenix is a very spread out metropolitan area but since i'm so healthy and i feel pretty strong i can you know buy a nice speed bike like a road bike for a thousand bucks and ride that thing into the ground and i did i bought a used bike for a thousand bucks one of these uh, bianchi bikes and i rode that thing 40 miles a day for a year and i got in great shape from that in addition to um you know working out at the gym and doing martial arts and eating a healthy lifestyle, healthy diet. But I learned a valuable lesson, which was, wow, it's a lot less stressful to not have a car. And so then I started thinking about, well, the other big bill I have per month is food. You know, it's, it's really hard for me to buy processed food. I've always wanted to go and buy local food. And then when I really was starting to garden full on, I started really wanting to grow my own food, whether it was fruit trees or in a garden. And I started thinking, you know, I am consuming a lot of food. I've always eaten a lot. And so for sure, you know, my biggest bill of the month is food. And so my goal has always been to, let's see three things that I can do. How much can I grow in my own property for food? How much can I harvest from the wild around me? And nowadays, how much can I go and catch in the ocean and on land? And so I just think those two things are very powerful and those motivate me a lot. If I if I um, can reduce my stress in life by around me, I know how to catch things on the land and the sea, and I also grow a lot of the food that I eat in my own property. I think those two things right there can be a, a big help for a lot of people. Um, now, a lot of you might say, you know, I need to have my car. Well, you know, you don't. I, I was teaching um, Mesa Public Schools martial arts program. I was teaching private lessons. I was teaching at my own school. At the time, I called it um, Shallon Center or Phoenix Longevity Arts. And I was riding on average in um, over 40 miles a day. Now, I could have lived closer to where I work. And that's what I think people should be doing is live closer to where you work. Um, a lot of you these days are working from home. Um, let's try to be smart about things. And um, I'm not so, you know, since Tesla has first come out, I've always been so tempted to buy a Tesla because I figured, you know, the only thing better than buying a Tesla for the environment is to buy a used Tesla because then at least I'm buying a used electric car. Um, and then the goal would be to power it with solar panels to live to where you work and make it so it's easy for you to ride that thing around. It's a great technology, a lot of money. And then uh, what are 10 foods in your area? You know, right now, if you guys um, tell me what city are you watching this from, my incoherent rambling here. Uh, and what are 10 foods that you could go out right now? If you walked out of your house and if you walked for a day, you could go harvest for free from the wild. So I know right now, if I was in Arizona, which is the desert, people say very hard to survive. I don't think so. You know, whether it's chuparosa flowers or nopalitos, prickly pear cactus, or tunas, the fruits, or saguaro cactus fruits, or jojoba nuts, um, you know, there's lots of, that's just plant life, let alone if you're gonna catch land animals or fish or things like that. And then here in, um, on the Pacific coast of the PNW, um, the Northern PNW, we have so much we can wild harvest. You know, Nicole and I just found a bunch of, of uh, uh, morels. Um, I'm getting, you guys watch our show, you know. It, tonight's episode, if you guys go to the link in the description, the top line is the descript is the link to, for me, for Nicole, and for Fox. You know, we all have fishing licenses, and we um, put them together so we can go and catch 
whether it's salmon, a lingcod, or rockfish, or greenlings, or halibut, anything like that. Prawn, crab, oyster, clam, mussel, all that kind of stuff from the ocean. And then we harvest a lot of seaweed. This episode tonight, you're gonna to see us harvest seaweed. And then the fall time, we go and harvest chanterelles from the land. And then the summertime, we harvest all the berries. We have berries every month, the new berry. So it's right now, I just found my first salmon berry that was ripe, and then it will go into thimble berries, and it will go into raspberries and black cap raspberries, and it will go into blackberries. Um, and you can harvest all those things for free, and then you can learn how to can them up and jar them and keep them in your pantry all year long. Uh, another thing like salt, for instance, you guys watched the last episode we did, uh, last month's episode, we called it, you know, the most, uh, the most expensive sea salt. Literally, I just walk out to the ocean and I dip a jug in there. And while the wood stove is on, I put that pot of salt water on there. And in two days I have a year supply of salt. <laughs> I, I can't even believe that I, for so long, um, I've been paying for salt. You know, that pink Himalaya salt. You know, it's right there on the shelf staring you in the face. I don't do that anymore. I, I really just love, love, love harvesting my own salt for free. And my parents didn't teach me to do any of this stuff, you know. Um, I would love to have it to where a fox gets to be, you know, fox is our son, gets to be 20 years old, 30 years old, and he just inherently knows how to do all this stuff. Just like I inherently know how to do martial arts. I inherently know how to wrestle. I inherently know how to play golf. And I inherently know how to ski. Um, I know how to do those things because I was taught, those are the things that I was taught, you know, and um, I just feel like maybe those things aren't that important. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's not that important to know how to do all these sports. I think what's really important is to know how to sail because to travel the world in a boat that can ride the wind and ocean conditions is, is very powerful. To know how to catch your own food and to know how to build your own shelter and build your own, um, your own um, uh, structures to know how to plant and grow a garden no matter what climate you're put in, uh, to know how to stay healthy and strong and, and um, have longevity because of how you move and live and eat. These are things I think are very important. Um, to know multiple languages, I think is very powerful. I think it's, for those of you who are bilingual, trilingual, um, or a polygot, I think it's very powerful. So I would love for Fox to grow up knowing some of the world's most popular languages, you know, English, Spanish, Chinese, and then go from there, whether he wants to do. And I would just love it if, um, I'm actually curious right now, those of you watching, um, especially if you guys have a super chat, if you can super chat, um, I know it costs a bit of money, but the money goes to support our show and I see you for sure if you super chat. And uh, I'd like to know how many of you have kids and how many of you do not have kids? Can I see a vote right now? How many people watching do not have kids and how many do have kids? Do you think that in the next uh, 20 or 30 years, there's going to be a, um, a shortage of humans on the planet because we're going to have a population collapse, do you think? Do you think 8 billion is the most that we're ever going to have? No kids, no kids, two kids, four kids. Now, as you guys are responding to that, how many of you out there, how many of you have had less or more kids than your parents? So my parents had three kids and I have one. So I've had one third what they had. And I'm, by the time that my dad was my age, um, he already had three kids and I think the third one would have already been like maybe 28, 38, like maybe five years old. So I'm, I'm way less kids than them and they were less kids than their family, than, than their parents. Mm -hmm. And so I feel that we're going to have this population collapse and um, maybe long term that's good for the planet, but short term it's going to cause a lot of problems with the next generation, Fox's generation. And so if you, um, if you have a kid and you're raising a kid, I think it's so important to teach them some real world things like alternative languages, like how to travel the world for free riding the wind, how to grow a garden and how to stick math and how to uh, uh, learn about history. It's funny, there's this guy I listen to a lot when I'm doing these projects on a podcast uh, style video named uh, Noam Chomsky. Do you guys ever know Noam Chomsky? I've emailed him 10 times. I would love to, e uh, to interview him for our show and just bring you guys a Noam, uh, a Noam Chomsky interview. He's in his 90s now. And um, he's just a very intelligent person about what seems to be the true, as true of a history of the world as you can want. <clears throat> and I just really love, I would love to know 
what he does to get his information because <laughs> I'm having a hard time these days finding um, good information. I used to listen to NPR all the time back in the 90s because when I was in high school, one of our friends, his dad was a doctor and his dad would go to, um, to school every morning and he would go to the hospital to be a doctor. And I always thought, that guy's so intelligent. He's a black belt in martial arts. He's so smart. He makes a great living. He's a doctor. And he listens to NPR news on the way to work. And I just think NPR is not the same anymore. I had to, I had to stop listening to it during COVID because they, NPR just every article used to be so, uh, so intelligently researched. And now it's just very, um, it just, I was getting dumber and dumber every time I would listen to it. And it was, um, just appealing to the ads, you know, I just, um, so I'm having a hard time finding out who to listen to. So I love listening to that guy, Noam Chomsky and, um, uh, I would check him out. Um, and I think that, um, teaching this to your kids, you know, gardening, traveling, multiple languages is very powerful. And then how to get out of debt and that monthly bill. So that was the whole point of our conversation was, um, how to not necessarily make more money, but how to escape people that are sucking at the teat of you for that monthly recurring billing. And so things that Nicole and I, you know, don't have is we don't have a monthly water bill. We don't have a monthly power bill. We don't have a monthly mortgage. We don't have a, um, <clears throat> uh, we don't have a monthly car payment. We don't have those kind of monthly, uh, payments. The things we do have is like taxes, um, income taxes, property taxes, and we do keep, um, the Starlink on for internet so we can upload these videos for you guys. And that's monthly as well. But if ever the, the shit, the fan, we can always cancel that, you know, that Starlink and, um, uh, and so on and so forth. Yeah. I used to listen to a lot of Robert Reich back in the day. He's, um, he was Clinton's secretary of labor. Yeah. He's an interesting guy. So thanks for watching guys. Um, it's looking like, uh, what I'm seeing here on the YouTube studio is that the new video is going to be uh, live in two minutes. It's saying processing to 4k in two minutes. I put the link in the uh, description here. If you go to um, our channel, it will go live and hopefully in 120 seconds. Um, instead of me just being an egomaniac and vomiting information at you, I'm going to look at the, the chat right now. So anybody have any questions real quick in our last two minutes, then I got to go be with Fox because uh, Nicole's been real nice. She just fed Fox dinner and let me do this live video. Um, I've really enjoyed doing what we do for a living. I love bringing these videos to you guys because it allows me to, um, you know, do something at home where I can be with Nicole and Fox all day. And it's very powerful. I couldn't imagine, um, training or teaching the martial arts like I used to, because I would be gone so much, you know, teaching five hours of classes per night and then three hours of prep and business. I would just hate to be away from my family that long. So I just love, um, I love doing what I do. And I think, I think for a lot of guys out there, I don't, I, I'm not a woman. I can't appeal to you women out there, but for the guys, I would really say that, um, one thing I've done since I've been 19 years old is I've hated homework. I hate homework. And I was really trying to go to college to golf and wrestle on a scholarship. And I broke my arm real bad. Um, if you ever see the scar on the back of my arm, I had multiple surgeries and plates and screws in my arm when I was 18. And um, that kind of ruined my dreams of doing athletics in college, but I, um, I really hate homework so much. And to me, a job working for an hourly wage is like homework. And I just, um, I couldn't bring myself to want to just have a job. So I've, I've always kind of suffered a little bit in order to, um, uh, be my own boss. And so I'm very uh, thankful that there's those of you out there who like to watch our journey. And, um, that's why Nicole and I try to bring you guys hour long episodes. Tonight's episode is an hour and 25 minutes. So it's definitely a good one to so sit back and watch. I got a beautiful little, um, little boy over there watch, watching me wondering when I'm going to be done doing this live. Hello there. Finger. Finger. <laughs> so I was, or something of high value, you know, not one of these modern day jobs, something that's timeless, engineering, science, art, music, things that really have a purpose on the earth and that are always going to be in demand. And then try to find a way to do your own thing and do it from home so you can be with your family. And if you don't have a family, 
it's amazing. Um, I gotta say, I, I really am glad that I waited to have a family to find Nicole, but I'm not glad that I waited. Does that make sense? Like, I'm really happy that I'm having this family with Nicole because I love her so much and she's, you know, by far the greatest mom that I've ever seen. But I really wish I would have been a younger person having kids. <laughs> so I just would have loved to have had Nicole there for it. So um, I feel a lot of the reason why I waited till I was the age I am now is because society has convinced me for a long time that having kids is bad. Um, and that's, you know, hurting the earth. I just don't think that's the case anymore. I love uh, having my family starting here. Um, more children in the future. Nicole and I talk about that, yes. Um, I'm gonna leave up to, up to Nicole. People think I look skinnier right now. Do you think I look skinnier for real? <clears throat> YouTube has taught me one thing is that I can go back and I can watch myself age since 2007 until today. If you go back and watch the martial arts Jake or the gardening Jake or the vegan athlete Jake or today's off grid Jake, you can see me age since I was uh, 24 years old. <laughs> and I feel like I, I do look older, even though I don't look, I don't think I look bad. I just, I do look older. It's very humbling to watch yourself age on video like that. But yeah, I would love, to, if Nicole came to me and she said, would love to have another child, I would love to try for a girl, but if we have a boy, would love them too. I would, I would, I would um, assist her in any way that I could, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I would be there for the family. Um, if she said she wanted to have four kids, you know, I would, I would do what she wanted to do. But if, um, if she said that Fox is it and I'm really happy, then I would, I would like that too. I think that she's gotta be the one in charge because it's, you know, it's her body going through the majority of the of the of the stress you know even though it's good stress yeah no i need a haircut big time this is i just jumped in the lake so right before this i was swimming in the lake behind the forest here i took fox to the lake we were trying to teach him to swim today but it got too windy and it just got too cold so i jumped in and so this is this is my lake hair no no product whatever thanks for the comp for the compliments to everybody let's see here yeah, pipe for water. Um, that's the next thing. Nicole and I have been so, so thankful that we um, now have the power wall set up. See the eight panels behind us? It's so beautiful to have these eight panels hooked together going to the power wall because we have unlimited energy now. Up until this point, I've had solar panels that I've had to move around and I've had them charging uh, lithium batteries that I have moved as well. And it's been, you know, it's a lot of... Um, a lot of shrugs and a lot of athleticism. So now I can just, I can wake up every day and, you know, the system drains 15% overnight. And then during the day, it goes back to 100. And we can have a freezer and a fridge on full time and washer dryers is fantastic. Do we hunt for bear and deer? No, we're not going to do that. Um, even though we have, we have a lot of um, hunting weapons to do that. We have a lot of um, professional um, crossbows and, you know, bows and arrows and things like that to to bow hunt um, we do that for fun we just kind of harvest our animal based food from the ocean fish prawn crab clam uh scallop oyster things like that yeah gas and um gas I'm that's another thing i'm trying to cut gas out of our life uh, my chainsaw uses gas the um the sailboat's engine if we're not right like today's a great day for sailing in the wind um but if we have to use the engine it's a diesel if I use the tractor, it's a diesel. And I would love to um, get the house built and the greenhouse done and then not really need any more equipment that much anymore and um, try to get my chainsaws electric powered by the solar panels. And I would love to install a um, an inboard motor for the sailboat that was electric because uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to install the solar arch on the back of Appa, the sailboat, to put two solar panels to... Uh, 275 watts on top so we can have 550 watts on the top of the boat charging lithium batteries you're going to see in tonight's episode going in there and um and that way if we had an electric motor i could just always have the motor on the boat be electric and free from the sun what if 500 people do what we're doing what do you guys think about that question i get that question a lot especially from people from india um this is the life that you and Nicole are living is not sustainable if, if, if everybody did it. Do you think that's true? I don't know about that. Yeah, Max, Mac, I'm not going to watch that movie. Is the internet? Can you guys hear me again? From 19 years old to 37 years old, I was 100% vegan. And uh, nowadays, um, when I'm at the tropical location, or even here, 
I go down there and I hunt the octopus. And I think humans have been eating octopus for thousands of years, tens of thousands of years. It's delicious. And um, I appreciate all life. You know, the fish that I shoot when I free dive are just as intelligent and alive as the octopus, is just as intelligent as alive as us is just as intelligent and alive as a carrot in my garden or a potato. And they're all living. We're all just trying to make it. And we're all part of the great circle of life. And uh, looking at my computer here. So when I hunt fish in the ocean or whether I grow hazelnuts in the garden, I try to have this reverence and respect for life. Any trees that I've cut down, I've tried to use sight for wood in their place put solar panels a garden and fruit trees and the video just popped up so hope you guys come on over and i'll continue this discussion with you guys in the chat um this thing um maybe i'll do this like the y files guy i'll do this after our video from now on starting with the next week's episode and the next episode is going to be our shipping containers showing you guys them being delivered so stay tuned for that and thank you thank you for two million subscribers when nicole and i first started this channel our off-grid part we had 8,000 subscribers and most of them came from, um, from my other channels because I cross-promoted Nicole's and my channel with my other existing channels. So when we came here to Kumo Rebbe, we had 8,000 subscribers. And now um, since 2000, is it 2019? Yeah, babe, right? Since 2019, from 8,000 to 2 million. And I just want to say thank you guys for having an interest in our life and watching us. So we got 40 seconds till the video goes live. Thanks for watching this episode. And um, I'll see you guys in the live chat for the newest episode. Go to our channel. The link is in the description.